Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so, so very excited to bring you this video featuring these boards that I had made by Trakel. I just launched these in my store and I wanted to bring you a video showing you how I use these. Um, I'll be doing two videos, so this is part one. I'm going to be using this bigger board. Now this is a 12 by 15 inch roughly and I created this design and my good friend Debbie helped me make it into a clip art image and I sent it over to Trakel and they cut these beautiful birch boards. This is the smaller version of that board and this is about a 9 by 12. So you have a 9 by 12 option or a 12 by 15. I'm going to be doing the 12 by 15 for this video to give you an idea. And as I mentioned, these are birch wood and they are so soft and smooth. They're about a half an inch thick. Um, the solid ones here have a keyhole for hanging. A couple of things that I love about birch is they just look way more professional and they're a lot lighter than like an MDF board. Oh, and here is the larger one of that solid without the hole. And again, this is a 12 by 15 roughly. And the smaller one again is about a nine by 12. And both of them do have that keyhole. I didn't put a keyhole on the one with a hole because you can essentially put two nails in the wall or one nail and hang it like on the cut out hole part. So that's why I opted for no keyhole on that in case you're wondering. Uh, but these boards are just beautiful. When I got them in the mail and opened them, I was just so excited. I was so impressed. They're just gorgeous. Trakel does such a nice job. And so just showing here how I am going to prep these boards. I prefer to tape first before I gesso. That way it keeps my gesso line nice and clean too. And I am going around leaving a little, little bit, as you can see, probably just about a centimeter of rim around the top there. And I'm gonna do the same with the little one. And then I'm gonna do two coats of white gesso. And I just had to do a little bit of light sanding after the two coats were fully dry. I didn't have to do a whole lot of sanding at all because these boards are so smooth. Um, it's up to you if you want to gesso or not. They are very smooth. I like to gesso just because if the wood has any air bubbles, inside those air bubbles will come up and you know we try to keep as many air bubbles out of our resin as possible so I do prefer to prime my boards first. I opted to do some epoxy sculpt on this one uh, and I just want to mention too that any of these products you see me using including the epoxy sculpt are going to be down in the description so all tools and products that I'm using uh, you can find down there the boards um, are actually going to be in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. The epoxy sculpt and other tools like that will be on my Amazon store, which is linked below. And then the products you'll see me using later to do the actual resin and the additives are going to be at dryerdaysartstudio.com. And I'm just using basic acrylic paint to uh, put down where I want the colors to be. I wanted it to be really dark in the middle and go out to almost clear or white around the outside edges. And this just helps me plan for where I want to put my resin colors, but also gives a really nice background in case I have any translucent spots with my resin. And I am uh, using some fire glass here as well as some brown recycled glass around this inner rim. Again, I wanted to keep it nice and dark, so I'm using darker browns. I will link the fire glass below as well. And I'm just using clear Elmer's glue. Um, it can be a little bit more forgiving than hot glue. And this way I can kind of move the pieces around a little bit better and it makes them a little bit more flush with the board than the hot glue can kind of elevate them a little bit. But I do get that question about the glue and in this case I am just using clear Elmer's glue. Uh, these are vase fillers that I got at Hobby Lobby and I spray painted them gold and then I am using uh, a different color of fire glass again to kind of accent those older other gold vase fillers. Just visually putting them in where I want, trying to create some balance. As with most of my geodes, I like to incorporate real semi-precious stones, so I am using crystal quartz around the edge and also using more of those clear vase fillers to kind of clear the spaces there. And in that little cup that I'm fishing out of right now, those are the Real Crystal Quartz Chips from Just For You Online UK that you can also find in my store. I wanted to show here how I'm going to lay this down. I have a board right there. Then I have this dog food silicone mat from Amazon that I will link. 
and then my painter's pyramids. And the reason I'm doing this is because I was gonna work on my second board after this and I needed to be able to move this off of my art table uh, without jarring it or anything. So now I have a whole movable unit here having that piece of wood underneath and then having that silicone mat to catch any drips. And then of course having it elevated on the painter's pyramids. The mat and the painter's pyramids you will be able to find at the Amazon store. I do this a lot in my videos, but I like to start with some clear resin going over the loose stones just to make sure that in case the clear glue missed anything, these are nice and solidified down to the board. I am using my Echo Art Solution stick there. Um, those stick covers are amazing, the silicone stick covers, I love them. Uh, I'll have that link below too if you guys are curious. I also have a discount code with Echo Art Solutions, so definitely check them out for all your silicone pouring, mixing needs, and also those stir stick covers are just phenomenal. And this is the Bronze Pigment by Artisan Pigments. It's one of my favorite pigments. A lovely kind of dark metallic brown. And then using just clear resin over top to give a beautiful layering effect there. This is a chocolate gold by Lorez Expressions that I got from Laura's Art Corner and she will definitely be linked below as well, her store, as well as a discount code that you can use. It's so important to use good products in your artwork, especially working with resin. And a little bit goes a long way. So even if some of the products seem a little pricey, um, you only need a little bit. Like you don't need more than a 10% ratio of pigment or additive to your resin. And just going along with the clear resin again on those gold stones now. Ooh, and now I'm using some gold metallic from Just For You Online UK. This comes in a set with the silver. This is some of my favorite gold and just taking it along the outside rim of that epoxy sculpt line that I created. And that's what's awesome about those epoxy sculpt barriers. So now it will keep this gold out of the stones and the other work I just did in that center section. And sometimes we like it all to blend, right? Like we don't want to have these barriers, but in this instance, I knew I really wanted to build those colors outward and I didn't want them to in intermingle too much. And of course, some more clear. And this is what's great about prepping those boards too with your colors underneath because as we're laying in that clear to give some of these effects, you have the nice color underneath showing up through as well. And just using the clear again over that outside rim of my real uh, crystal quartz stones, chips, and clear vase fillers up there. And I'm now using the Supreme White by Just For You Online UK. This is a pigment paste, again, available in my store. And talk about, you know, never running out of product. Um, one jar of the Supreme White Epoxy Pigment Paste is 100 grams, so it will last you forever. So it retails for $29.50, uh, but you only need a tiny, tiny bit. I mean, I used, I, I literally dipped the stick into the pigment and then mixed it in with my resin. So you hardly need anything. And as you saw there, using my torch to pop any bubbles. And now this has been about 20 hours later. So the resin is hard to the touch, but it's still curing a little bit. Uh, and I still have the back taped and everything. So I wanted to come in and add some of my lines. I'm using one of my favorite metallic markers that I get from Michaels and just adding a little bit of accenting. And this is a white Uni Posca marker, which I will link also below in my Amazon store. And now I'm using a clear resin to do a flood coat over the lines and really seal everything down. And it still, to me, just didn't look done. I needed something extra. I sprinkled on some gold glass glitter that I got again from Laura's Art Corner. And it just added a little something extra that you'll see at the end here. I apologize, my seven year old was <laughs> helping me film this. I just wanted to show pulling the tape off um, because I did wait just a little bit longer than 24 hours uh, to pull tape since I did that flood coat a little late. 
And so what I did this time was I used my heat gun, which you'll see in a second, and just blew some hot air on these sections of tape and it helped me get it right off nice and clean. Um, pulling tape can be tedious sometimes and really just using that heat gun to warm up those areas really helps to pull that tape off. So I highly recommend it. I never used to do this. I would just try to come in before the 24 hour mark and pry the tape off and using that heat gun really helps. And as you can see too, wearing gloves to make sure I don't get any fingerprints or smudges in my still curing resin and using an orange stick for the assist to pull the tape off. Again, sorry about the camera skills there. My, She's six, she's gonna be seven, and I think she did a pretty good job for being six and doing that. But, And here it is all done. There is that sprinkling of gold glass glitter. You can see it just adds a little something so that those sections weren't so naked or just they just seem like they needed something so that gold glass glitter looks awesome in there you can see the beautiful edges of this piece now I am I just I am obsessed with these boards I hope you guys can pick some up for yourself because they are just gorgeous again dryerdaysartstudio.com to get some of these boards for yourself thank you so much for watching you guys I just love all of your support thank you the comments are wonderful I just I cannot say thank you enough please like comment and subscribe come find me on Instagram at dryer days and until next time everybody keep on pouring Thank you.